Hey players, I want to let you know that this Thursday night, I'm going to have my second ever Google Plus Hangout event dedicated to Valentine's Day. But this episode today is all about how to get a girl's phone number. So like I was saying, click the link here or in the description box below to RSVP. I'm going to be sharing a bunch of tips on Valentine's Day and answering a ton of the questions that you guys send to me. Back to the topic though, one of the first steps before asking a girl out is to build some kind of rapport or connection with her, which you can do over the phone. Before you start texting or talking to her, you may actually need to get her phone number first. So this is how you do it. In today's day and age, everyone is constantly on their phones. So with a million different ways to contact a girl, you can do it through Facebook or Instagram or Kik or Snapchat, why get her phone number? I would say that a phone number actually holds more value than all those social media profiles because a phone number is kept more private from everyone else. It's easy to message someone on Facebook or take a picture on Snapchat, but to sit down and actually talk to someone requires a lot more time than we're used to investing. So if you can get a girl to dedicate a portion of time talking on the phone, that holds so much more weight than everything else. A big rookie mistake that a lot of guys make is starting a conversation off asking for the girl's phone number. The problem with this is not only does it make you seem nervous, but it also makes it seem like you're not that interested in her, you're just interested in the number. Once you've established that connection with the girl, then you can ask for her number. And as far as I see it, there are three basic ways to say it. There is the safe way to do it where you don't put too much on the line. Hey, I was just wondering if maybe I can get your number. And if you're free, maybe we can hang out sometime. The normal way where there's confidence in your voice, but you're not too overbearing. You know, you seem like a really cool person. Let me get your number so we can hang out sometime. And the more aggressive way where you're not asking, you're telling her to kind of do it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I gotta hang out with you sometime. Tell you what, put your number on my phone right now. Come on, do it. How you choose to phrase the line is entirely up to your personality type. Don't feel inclined to say it in a certain way or do something that's out of your character. One thing you should always do is have your phone directly in front of her so that she can immediately input the numbers as soon as you say it. The key here is to minimize the amount of work involved. If she says yes, you don't wanna then scramble for your phone and wait for everything to open up and then put it in front of her because you give her those few moments of hesitation and anxiety to think, Maybe I shouldn't give this guy my number. Now, if you wanna have fun with asking for her number, here are two little techniques I've picked up over the years. Carry around a notepad and pen with you, and when the time is right, draw 10 blank lines on a paper with parentheses and a dash in the middle as if you were gonna fill in a phone number there. Hand it over to her and tell her to fill it out. If she asks you what it is, just tell her, you're a smart girl, you can figure it out. The second technique is a little bit more strategic. Start telling her a story, and right before you get to the end of the story, stop. From there, tell her, hey, look, I gotta go, but tell you what, give me your phone number and I'll call you up later and tell you what happened. The main reason why this works is because people hate to be left in anticipation, so they go along with it. What do you guys think, though? Out of all these methods of asking the girl for her number, which one seems to resonate the best with you? Leave your comments below so we can talk about it. And just like opening a conversation, never end a conversation right after asking for her number. It makes you look desperate and it makes her feel anxious for giving it to you in the first place. So now that you have her number, when is the perfect time to call her? That's gonna be another video. As always guys, love and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make a new video every week on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. And don't forget my live Google Plus Hangout, all about asking your crush out on Valentine's Day is this Thursday night. Click the link in the description below to head over to the page to RSVP for the event. And a huge shout out to two amazing YouTubers who just started. Iron Archer and the Inferno Tuber. They make tons of videos on video games and things like that. So if you want to see fun, random comedy, mix them with video games, check out their channels. I'm going to put their link in the description below. So make sure to subscribe, leave a comment over there, show them some love. They deserve